Thanks. Hello, thank you for joining us today here at Prevent Child Abuse Nevada. Today we will be going a pinwheel tutorial that you can either do at home with your little one um, just for fun or in the preparations for pinwheels for prevention in the month of April for Prevent Child Abuse um, Awareness Month. And so today I will be going over how you can get your template and how to do your pinwheel. So I'm going to share my screen here. And so you will be going to preventchildabusenevada.org. And so this is actually the first page that will pop up. We're going to go under news and events and under the pinwheels for prevention tab, we're going to click it. And here you will see the current information for that year's pinwheels for prevention. As you can see on the right hand side, we have different resources that you can use. And today we're going to go for the make your own pinwheel under straw and fasteners. Excuse me. And as you can see, here's the template that we will be using. It shows that we will be needing the piece of paper, a straw, a brad, two washers, it's optional. Um, but I will be showing you some of the alternatives that you can do or use. So remember, it's always having fun and um, being flexible with whatever you have at home. So I will be stop, stop sharing my screen. And so here I have my template already printed out. And so I will be having my template. Here's my pair of scissors. A hole puncher makes it a little bit easier. A straw. And see, I don't have the brad, but I will be using a push pin. So that's what I will be using. And then I have a box of crayons that I will be using to color my pinwheel. So just to save you some time, I have already a pinwheel that is cut out and colored. And so after you color it and cut it out, first you cut it out from the outside. And there's these lines and you're gonna cut it all the way to where it stops on the four corners. And then here I had already started some hole punches. So here I use a hole puncher. Now, just for um, a tip, we wanna try, even though the hole might be there, try and make it, if you're doing the hole puncher, a little more inside. That way it doesn't rip easily. So I will be doing that with the other ones. And so you actually don't also want to do the middle one. That one I would just wait for the push pin or the brad because it needs to be snug. And if we do it with the um, hole puncher, it might be a little big. Okay, so here I have my template hole punched. And so then what we're going to do is the areas that have the holes, we're going to bring them to the center. So see like this, this one doesn't have a hole, so we don't bring it. And then this one does have a hole, so we bring it. And slowly we'll see our pain will come to life. So this one doesn't have a hole, we don't bring it, but this other one does. So this is one we're gonna bring to the center. And so just cause it's hard doing it upright, I will do it down here and then bring it back up. And then once you put all your um, ones with the holes in the center, we are gonna go have the push pin go through. it through and this is how what we have and so then I'll grab my straw and this one had a little hole already so we put our push pin not too tight because if it's too tight it won't allow it to um, turn and there you have your pinwheel so let me see see 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us here at Prevent Child Abuse Nevada.